Then just notice how's your breath. Notice if it's anything stiff on your body. Always. Oh yeah, my neck. If it's any pain right now, just kind of check in. How many times a day do you actually pause to notice yourself? Then when you're ready, you can go back and take a seat. Or you can be standing as well. If anybody wanted to stand for a little bit longer, you can also stay on the back of the room just to, um, you know, don't be in front of someone else. But that's always an option. And remember, we always have the right to stand up. Then if you are ever watching anybody in lecture, you can always go in the back of the room and listen to your body. Then just, I'm giving permission as a physical therapist to do that, including on the airplane, except when the light's on. <laughs> um, then what do you guys notice? And shoot me some feelings. What's the feelings that you notice? Any stiffness? I actually feel pretty grounded, but I got up and moved a couple of times. Awesome. So grounded, a stiffness. What else? A little stiffness. The stiffness. My butt sore. Butt yeah. sore. <gasps> I feel really fun <laughs> I listen to my bladder. <laughs> How are you feeling? What's the word? Stiffness in my neck. Yeah. Stephan is in the neck. I'm cold. My feet are cold. Let's get a little heater. Is, it, is everybody cold? Should put a little bit of the heater. So let's go back here. Then, how often do you actually stop to feel how you're feeling throughout the day? Never? Not very often? Then that's the reality for most of the people, right? Then how we even know if a food is good for us or not, if we don't check. Then a lot of times what happen is you eat something, 20, 30 minutes later, your body immediately react to it, is sending you the signal, hey, warning, that wasn't good. And we not listening to that. The big part of my work is actually giving that power back to you as far as listening to your body. Being a very simple tool, it's pause throughout the day every couple hours. For me, like I use washing my hands. I wash my hands a lot because between patients, but every time I wash my hands, it's my time to check in. How am I feeling? How's my energy? Do I need to do something to get my body feel better? Then for you, it can be every time that you're drinking water. It can be every time that you notice your watch. It can be you put a special necklace that you're like, oh, I have that on. And that can be your reminder. But you can have different reminders, especially in the beginning when you're trying to build a habit to be the, oh, how am I feeling? Then if you're trying to work on losing weight and you start feeling the hunger, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta eat. Before you even eat, have you ever checked your emotions? Have you ever paused to notice, are you really hungry or are you having anxiety, anger, upset with the husband or the kid or the boss and suddenly you need to feed your body? Then starting to be curious, what is your relationship with food? Mm -hmm. it's for, <laughs> for a lot of people, it's comfort. It's what we grew up with. It makes me feel better. 
it's, but, it's sometimes a memory. Like even last night, my husband made something with a rigatoni in it, and I immediately thought of my grandmother because mm. that's what we used to do: Sunday Sunday dinners, big Italian family, CD, all that. Exactly. So sometimes it's that memory. Then how are you gonna say to yourself, knowing that, right, that you had that memory of this food that's probably not the healthiest, no. <laughs> right? But it brings you this shower of good hormones because it brings you a wonderful memory. Hormones or feelings? Both. It brings the good hormones. Every time that you're feeling good, you bring the good hormones, what helps you relax your gut. We're gonna talk about that in a second. It, it kind of goes in a cycle. How we feel feeds our hormones and our hormones feed how we feel. And it's all, it's all connected. Then it's starting to identify, and that's what I'm, I'm, I meant when I say the black and white piece. Because what I notice is a lot of times we put things in a little box and say this is black and this is white, this is right, this is wrong, and every time you're doing something that's wrong, your body responds 30 times worse than what should be. And would that be good for you to eat processed food? No. But how about if you eat processed food and then you add guilty to that? Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's like, that's now become really, really bad. <laughs> right? It's kind of like if you wanted to eat something, and that's why I was saying about a conscious choice versus punishment versus I can't, I shouldn't, this is not good for me. Going back to that, how do I feel? Am I doing the best I can? And then be okay with where you are. If you, if you feel in your heart that you're not doing the best you can, that is room for more, wonderful! Do some more. But it's starting to notice, of course, everything we talk here about nutrition, how good food is and how much impact our gut and how much impact inflammation, it's totally true and it's totally real and there is tons of research to prove that. But how much that's amplified by how we feel about what we're eating. How much is that allergy reaction? And I work with a lot of patients that have a lot of severe allergies and a lot of response, environmental or food. How much of their reaction is, I'm seeing this, I know if I eat it, it's gonna make me feel bad. Then you already send that message to the brain. The brain already starts feeling bad. Now you eat the food that supposedly your allergenic reaction and the allergy happen. Then it's, it's a very interesting connection with the brain because the brain has that much power to just kind of like, oh, I think this is bad for me, therefore it's gonna be bad. And that's the whole uh, nocivo effect, right? It's like we can go from both directions. We can create the placebo effect where you think this is really good and you take a sugar pill and suddenly the blood pressure goes away and things get control again, the pain disappears and it's like it's just sugar. And sugar is bad for you. <laughs> and then you have the nocivo effect where you eat something that you know that's bad for you and guess what? It's going to be. Then how often in your life are you putting labels on things of good or bad? And what labels can you remove? Then if it is that bad for you, that it's like, oh, I really shouldn't be eating that, why are you eating? And go back to the emotional component that we were talking about. Okay, what is underneath of that feeling? I really need to have this. And then comfort is a big word for a lot of people. So what other words come to mind when you think about, I really need to eat this? What are the emotions that you, if you, they may come up for you? Defiance. 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 What else? 
like full satisfied okay like covering up i guess covering up hiding yeah like pushing things to the side i don't want to deal with that let me eat instead how often we do that right i don't want to deal with you let me go eat <clears throat> What are all the feelings you guys notice? Guilt. Guilt. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Guilt is a big one. But notice how, how many emotions trigger us to eat. And what are we doing with that? We most of the time don't even notice that is an emotion there. Well, even like, like and I, I'm seeing it, my daughter's 16 now has a... And they go out to eat all the time. It's mm -hmm. like that social thing. Mm -hmm. like, I'm like, and I don't do that as much, but I'm mm -hmm. seeing her. I'm like, isn't there anything else you can do? Well, it's kind of... Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's worse things you can be doing at 16, yeah. but yes. that's, that's, that's what reason. they do. But we do it as adults. Oh, yeah. like, we well, get together, true. we go it's out true. to You're eat. Right. You're yes. right. we get together. The food becomes yes. an uh, emotional comfort. It becomes a social that's comfort. <laughs> Right? What if we start going for a walk on the park instead of going eat in the restaurant for our friend? That would be a much, much better date, probably, because we both need exercise, they might as well go for a walk. <laughs> right? But society condition us that if you're going out on a date, if you're going to see your friend, what do you do? You go have lunch. Yeah. Then those, and we, again, we do those things without questioning. We do those things without even notice that we're doing because we're so conditioned to how things should be. You know what's another thing that I think we become so conditioned to is eating right when we're hungry. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned this the hard way um, because I was I'm doing this Invisalign thing, mm -hmm. and it's a real pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's every single every single time you eat, you have to brush your teeth, yeah. you clean, clean, yeah, and brush your teeth and floss, yeah. and it's like a whole production. Yes. So I started noticing that I became more regulated with my eating. So mm -hmm. like the three meals a day, stop mm -hmm. snacking mm -hmm. completely, and I would get hungry. And my instinct in the past has always been, I'm hungry, then eat. So with this, I've had to become more disciplined and have to work through the hunger pangs. And initially, I was kind of like irritable. But then I became really calm with it. It's okay to be hungry between meals. Yeah. It's actually kind of nice. Because then when you really get to eat your meal, you're more mindful of it and you really enjoy it. So I think as a society, we've become really spoiled yes. because we have that hunger. And then we eat on every corner. Instant yeah. gratification yes. became a problem because mm -hmm. we're so rich as a society and we can mm -hmm. feed ourselves when we're hungry. Exactly. So. And again, it goes back to what works for you. Right? Then it's like if you're not even aware of what works for you, you're just going to do like everybody else is doing. And then suddenly you start to identify, oh, hold on a second, maybe I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. How many times are we actually hungry, feeling hungry and it's not hunger at all, it's feeling thirsty. And you drink a cup of water and you're like, oh, I'm feeling better now. For people that are trying to lose weight, that's such an easy tip. Before you eat, get a glass of water, wait 20 minutes. Most of the time you forget. Then that's a, another, you know, another way for you to start noticing. And that's nice because the Invisalign makes you pause. Mm -hmm. Am I actually even hungry? Mm -hmm. Or am I just sitting for habit? That, that, you know, starting fi finding things throughout your, your routine, your daily life. What are those things that can bring you that pause? But you can check in. What are the emotions? Am I eating because I'm feeling I need that comfort? Am I eating because I need to push things to the side I don't want to deal with? And it's not much different than someone that smoke mm -hmm. and they need to get out of the office because they need to smoke. Mm -hmm. Right? It's the same. The feeling is the same. It's a, I need to escape. I talk to you later. But it, society have a different interpretation. If food is okay, cigarettes not. Mm -hmm. Then let's start to explore more that relationship with food and feelings. And once you start to see those feelings, ask yourself, what can you do about it that's not food related? And I can guide you a little bit more about that in a second.
I was just going to say that I've done some intermittent fasting, and the one thing that I learned that was a real eye opener for me is that hunger doesn't just continue to increase. It's mm-hmm. like you, in your mind, you think you're just going to keep. It's going to keep. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's it's worse. Better. And it's just mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah. you just like work through it. That's another thing I learned with this mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. intermittent fasting mm-hmm. inadvertently because you were right. so mm-hmm. pretty early, and I used right. to be a like, late night snacker. Mm-hmm. No more. Yeah. Yeah. Intro there. Fifteen pounds. They should put that in their market. Question. Um, I don't know how many others have experienced this, but I've got to the point, I think, in the last year that. I'm so tired of cooking. Mm-hmm. And I found myself pouring food, picking it up, and eating it in the car before I got home. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I would be so hungry, but I would have to go home, prepare a meal for everybody, and then just mm-hmm. by the time I sit down, I'm a little upset because I just want to eat. I want somebody else to fix it. So I, but I think it's caused inflammation eating out so much. So I've stopped that, and now I'm just trying to. This weekend I'm going to clean out my cupboards. Nice. Get rid of the food that I know is not good. It looks nice. pretty in the box. Plan the meals for a whole week on yeah. Sunday or whatever you have yeah. on. There we go. Yes. Clean up the pantry and clean up. Good yes. job, Mute. Tomorrow's a great day to start. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now, I want you to pause for a second and start to think back on the symptoms that you have. That maybe you have pain, maybe you have some gut issues, maybe you have some emotional challenges, maybe it's lower energy. But start to think back as far as this flare-up moments, the moment that you're like, oh my gosh, my gut is really worse, or more constipation, or more diarrhea, or more allergic reaction. But think back on those moments, and I want for you to close your eyes for a second and just feel how does your body respond to that. When you think about those experiences you had before, notice if there's any part of your body that calls more attention. Is this maybe a specific organ, maybe a specific body part, maybe more the right versus the left. Just be curious. Can you open your eyes? What do you guys notice? Any sensations there? Am I knocking your head there? What do you know? Probably my liver and my digestive tract. And you felt that. Yeah. Then when you close your eyes and you thought about the flare-up moments, you felt your liver, your gallbladder talking to you. Good job, Myra. <laughs> Mine was a feeling of guilt, like, oh, I'm fucking up, like I'm not eating well or I'm not doing something right or what I should Perfect. be doing. And so on. The big a guilt. lot of guilt. And blame, like, guilt yeah. and blame. And you're like giving it to myself. <laughs> Beating up Your myself, fault. exactly. And those feelings are so wonderful that you're able to recognize that because those feelings are usually subconscious. Right? We have those feelings every time those flare up happen. And we say those guilty, blaming, beating up things, and we have no clue. And then suddenly you pause and you're like, oh my gosh, if I'm treating myself, if I'm treating someone else like that, I'll probably go into jail. I would never say that to anybody, even my enemy. But I'm saying all these things to myself. It's very interesting when you start to notice those guilty, blaming, beating, right? And it's kind of like, oh my gosh, how many times does that happen? And I wasn't aware of. Or like Mario was saying, how many times that flare up happened, the liver is like, hey, please help me. You're not listening to me. And you're like, someone say something? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a dog. <laughs> well, who else had some sensation? Whatever sensation was. Oh my gosh. When I eat ice cream, I know exactly what's going to happen. Okay. You know, I could be through the night having pains, but for you, eat, reason I don't eat this. Eat the ice cream anyways. Did you notice how the gut pain started before you even eat the ice cream? 
Or do you feel the gut pain afterwards? I'm usually after. Okay, yeah. there's such notice. Okay. How is your gut responding just because the ice cream is in front of you? Okay. And give some time to just pause. Be curious, like, like a, little, a little kid, right? It's like we sometimes lose curiosity as we become adult. Be curious. Okay, I know ice cream is really bad for me. Mm -hmm. I know I should not be eating. I eat anyways. I feel absolutely miserable afterwards. I don't know if it was worth it or not, but I did. But how is my body feeling even before I eat? How much of guilty, blaming, beating up am I doing before I even put the first scoop? And how is that impacting my body? And what else in life, besides ice cream, is triggering the same response? Because it's very rare that we only have one thing. How we do something is how we do everything. Then once you start to realize one little thing, you start seeing that, oh yeah, that happened here. Oh yeah, that happened here. Oh yeah, here too. Then be curious and start to notice. Then why is that, right? Why our feelings, emotions, and symptoms get triggers back to the gut and back to it is such an interconnection with the hormone, the how you feel and all of that, right? That's like why. Then I'm not gonna go too much in depth so that that can be a whole um, boring session, but one very simple way to justify that it's the autonomic nervous system. That we have two nervous system, the main that's kind of like running the body. One is your sympathetic, one is your parasympathetic. Like you see here on the picture, um, on the sympathetic, it's your fight, flight, or freeze. That you can see the little cat pretty angry over there. And how many times in your life you have that response of fight, flight, and freeze, your body going to respond in a certain way, and I'm gonna tell you in a second. Every time in your life where you are <sighs> nice and relaxed, your body will respond in a different way. Then it's pretty much like a switch on and off. It's either one or the other. It's, it's hard for the body to have both at the same time. Right? It's like the body is either running from a tiger, and that tiger can be your boss, your kid, your husband, your best friend, whoever it is. Oh my gosh, I have to do so many things today. Run, 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 run. And your body is responding just like the old days long 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 time ago when we actually in the forest running from animals and trying to survive we go back to the same physiology the survival mechanism is exactly the same the your body response is you can kind of maybe you can see there or not um, the pupils dilate because you need to see more you need to make sure who is coming and for the people that have dry eyes, keep an eye on that, right? If your pupil is dilated for a long time and you're not blinking as much because you're concerned that you're going to get killed, your eyes get pretty dry. And that's sometimes a, a very simple thing that you can feel it. Uh, kind of blink a little bit. How does that feel, right? Um, they start to bring that sensation through your body to get that awareness of how do you even feel because most of us don't even know how you're feeling. But the other thing that's not important when you're running from a tiger or from your boss is salivation. Why do you need to have saliva? Dry mouth is a very common probably people that have gut issues because it's not priority. You don't need to salivate a lot when you have some very important things. You gotta fight something or you gotta hide. You gotta respond in a very different way if you have, uh, if you are under danger, right? And that's how your body is interpreting there. The anytime that you think about things, stress, you're going to have all of that. The, you can always think about increased heartbeat. 
then you, I'm sure that every single one of you probably experienced some moment in your life where your heart just go, right? And you're like, I don't know what to do about this. You can. You don't have control how to increase it. You have control how to decrease it. And I can give you some ideas of what we can do about it. But first thing to have control of your body is notice and recognize something is out of alignment. If we don't even know, how we, it doesn't even matter what tools you have to change. Because you don't need the tools because you don't know there's a problem. Then a couple other things that you can notice is um, that happen to your body. It's inhibit activity on your stomach. It's inhibit uh, glucose, gallbladder, intestine. They're basically a whole gut from the mouth to the end. The whole digestive system is turned off. You don't need to go in the bathroom when you run for a tiger. You don't need to digest the food. You better run faster. And what your body does, it's redirect the energy to the place that's needed. It goes to your heart. You can heart your heart can beat faster, but you can run more. What's more important? Run faster or digest the food? Run faster. Right? Same thing with your bladder. Who needs to go pee? It's no priority. Hold it. Turn it off. Disconnect. Focus on the muscles. Get the blood redirect to your muscles. There's some of you mentioned about stiffness. What do you think would be happening to your muscle if you stress for a couple days and your muscles being redirecting the blood, redirecting the blood to your extremities? that you can run fast so you can, you know, survive, you can do all of that. But what do you think would happen to your body when you're doing that for too long? Tension. Tension. Hmm. Stiffness. Inflammation. Think about you holding a weight. Five pounds. Right? Big deal. You can hold that. Now hold that weight for 10 minutes. How long do you guys work for? Who is working? How long do you work for? Think about holding that weight for eight hours. It's not so light anymore. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen with those muscles here on your neck? Locking up. Locking up, right? Then you redirect the energy because it was the most efficient idea was the most efficient solution, but how long can you keep holding? Then we go like that for days, weeks, months, and then we ask, I don't know, I'm so stiff. Uh, right then we wonder, how come my gut's not working? How come I'm getting kidney stones? How come you know, I'm getting bladder infection or you name it? And the body doesn't even know what to do because you've been on that pattern for so long. That's how do you turn that off? Like how many times is it so hard for us to even pause and stare there for a couple of seconds? It feels uncomfortable. I don't even know what to do with myself. That's when you really know that you've been in that turn on mode for a long time. That the opposite of that, it will be the relaxation. That would be when your body is safe. Then you went out there, you survived, you got the meat, you got the food, you got the berries, you went back home, and now you're back on your cave and you're like, ah, all right, now I can enjoy the meal. I'm not on the phone, on Facebook, arguing with that person. I'm not working and arguing with my boss. I'm on my safe space. Are you sending that message through your brain? Hello, you can relax now, we're safe. Nothing's running behind us, we're not in survival mode anymore. <sighs> and now your brain get the message and then do exactly the opposite. Your muscles can relax, your gut can work, 
your hormones can get balanced, then like Sylvia would say, 70 to 90%, depending on the reference that you read it, of the hormones that produce on your gut. If our gut is not working properly, our hormone is out of balance. We get a lot of patients here with the hormone problems and first thing we address is cortisol. That's your stress hormone. Cortisol is the main hormone to help everybody else. It's the one that giving the directions. But if you're dealing with menopause, right, and your cortisol is going bananas because you'll be on that run, 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 run for too long, what do you think is going to happen with your feminine hormones? How are you going to be able to balance your feminine hormones that's going through a transition when cortisol is just sending that message, go, 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 go. It's sending that message to all the organs. Then starting to identify stress reaction increase in cortisol and give us the whole cascade that we talk about it, the how you know that you are under stress, go back to how you feel and you're going to know. Then when you have the relaxed, positive thoughts, feeling good, taking a deeper breath, feeling your lungs expanding, feeling your belly relax. Meditation can do that for some people. Yoga can do that. I have tons of meditation on my YouTube video uh, channel. Um, tons of things you can do for body skin, kind of check in. Tons of things for free there, resources you guys can you know, just check it out and start learning about that. Um, there are many ways that you can, like exercise is a really good way to start getting that shutting off. Okay, I'm okay here. Let me focus on what I'm doing here versus all the problems and leaving the problems behind. Then starting to create tools and having them available to you. What is that that would bring you that feeling of I'm safe, I'm okay. My body can heal because it is a switch, right? It's healing, repair, digestion, or fight, flight, or freeze. And which one are you turning on more often? Then you're starting to notice that. Then when you think about just a couple minutes ago, when you guys noticed how you feel, now knowing that, what switch do you think was on? Simple sympathetic. Sympathetic. How about anybody else? Did anybody else notice that? <clears throat> okay, so I'm... <clears throat> Which one is the relaxing? Yeah, which one? Well, the name it doesn't really matter. The, the, the stress one is sympathetic. The stress but one is sympathetic. sympathetic. But you don't need to memorize the name. That's more like a scientific way. Um, but where you relax, repair, and digesting, or where you stress, fight, flight, and freeze? It's my constant state. Yes. Constant state. I'm hyperthyroid, so. Well, you know, it goes back to let's fix the thyroid all day long. What is the rest doing? No, you don't need thyroid to run from the tiger. You don't need regulating. It's it's not it's not priority. Then it's kind of like of course we have to do the medication, whatever the doctor recommended. Of course, keep keep the journey. But what is the cause? Why is the thyroid is out of balance? Sorry, Terry, isn't it? Yeah, we've got issues in our family, well, but it's funny that I think looking back and looking at how I react to situation and pregnancy issues, I probably have been dealing with it most of my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then what was the symptoms before you even get the diagnosis? Correct. Because what I notice with my patients here is a lot of times when patients come to me, the doctors cannot find anything on the lab. But the person is feeling all the symptoms. The symptoms are real. Attributed to something else, which is what happened for years. Right? Then you wait, 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 because you're looking for the band-aid to fix it. You can't figure it out what the cause is. 
and it's like okay then now now there's nothing else we can do it eh? now the problem is established now you can see the lab now we can do something but it's not how functional medicine is starting to bring in more the holistic approach of like before it even happen but that's what's really cool about the work that I do it because with the intuition be able to actually feel the organs you can feel when the organ is unhappy before you see anything on the lab and it is so fascinating I actually had the experience last week that was so amazing because I can feel the difference the patient can feel the difference but how do you measure that then I use sometimes infrared camera to be able to see the decrease of the inflammation. And a couple of the tools that I do, we can actually see before and after what's really cool. And last week I had a patient that she's an acupuncturist and her liver and her stomach was like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to quit. Then I kind of like joke over the patient and say, if your organs were an employee, how happy are they doing their job? <laughs> <laughs> they are they ready for a race <laughs> are they ready to quit or are they ready to support you to grow then I was working with her and she's like stomach and liver ready to quit like really inflamed and she was not even that much aware she knew something was wrong but she wasn't sure what it was and I felt that I told her and I said can you do me a favor can you check your pulse because she's like acupuncturist and she's quite aware of her body I said just check your pulse for your liver gallbladder and stomach and tell me what do you feel and she's like oh my gosh Anna. it's like I can't believe how uh, out of balance it is and I was like okay then we did the work and then during the session I was like okay that's much better now check it again and then she checked her pulse again and it was much better the gallbladder was calm, the stomach was calm, the liver was, I would say, probably 80% better. She'll probably need not half an hour session. But it was so incredible to feel the difference and also have that confirmation from someone that's totally different, right? She's the one checking her pulse. I'm, I don't even know how to do that. But it's, it's really cool to feel her employee was much happier to do his job. But her lab test is normal. But we don't have necessarily have to wait until something show up to do something about it. That's another whole misconception of healthcare that we don't do preventive. We only deal with problems. And when the problem happens, it's way past due. That means that we tolerate it. Some research say that the body can tolerate up to seven years or more before something show up. Mm. They actually have some studies that are showing about people that have cancer, how it's kind of like there is some correlation with the seven year mark after trauma. Then it just goes to show how strong, how powerful, how much can we tolerate our body is so smart, just so powerful. If we just help a little bit, five percent, ten percent, a little more. How much more can we get? Any questions on that? I want to do a little quick exercise with you guys. You can feel it, but I mean, you go. No problem. So, uh, I yeah. send you the record later. Do. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for coming. I don't know that I have a specific question, but the thing that came to my mind is like I don't have a gallbladder. Uh huh. So like, yes, how yes. does your body compensate? Like. I mean, I don't have a gallbladder, so mm -hmm. I can't improve my gallbladder. <laughs> oh, so yes, you can. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is a uh, excellent question. Excellent question. Then I work when, especially if we're doing hands-on work and energetic work as well. Um, when we remove an organ, the energy of the organ is still there. I had to work with people that remove the uterus. And they have all kind of hormone imbalance and they felt improvement. Gallbladder is a big one for that. Actually, I had another funny story on that. I had a patient that she has a gallbladder 
and her gallbladder wasn't there. I couldn't feel it. It was like... She thought she had one? No, no, she had it. She had the one. physical organ it was there, but wasn't functioning. Oh. But it can go both ways. It can be like the organs kind of dormant. It's like, eh, I don't really need to wake up today. I'm good. And it could be someone that actually remove it. With the removal, there are a bunch of other things that can be explored. First, it builds up scar tissue. And every time they used to have a scar to show in your body, things don't flow properly as far as physical structure because it creates fibrosis. Mm -hmm. Some people, when they have surgery, the body heals really well and they don't build as much scar tissue. Some other people build a lot of scar tissue. The gallbladder is pretty close to the stomach and they do the, you know, the it can reflect problems to the other side. The other associated organs, pancreas, digestive system, the intestines itself. Um, there are some things that you will be limited because of the fats, right? That you're going to have to be more conscious as far as how much fat you ingest because your body's not going to be able to break down as easily as a normal person. They have the gallbladder. Um, but it is a lot of things you can do as far as improving the organs, even if the organ is not there, what's kind of fascinating and I can feel the difference and yeah then but it goes back to feeling first if you're not doing necessarily a private session there are things that you can you know start noticing what do you eat that doesn't feel good mm -hmm. do we need to eat less than that instead of a whole avocado maybe half is enough for you but starting to be aware of how your body respond knowing that that's a little bit different from the other people. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? Yeah. I don't even know that I had a specific question. Just <laughs> as a fellow non gallbladder mm -hmm. woman, um, some people specifically have gallbladder issues and they don't have any gallbladder issues. Some people's bodies even adapt. Right. Yes. A less sufficient, but nonetheless, little sac that will hold. See, I feel like I can eat a lot of fat. Right. I can eat so much more fat than many yeah. gallbladder right. less yeah. people. But, um, you know, in some. Yeah. yeah, it's it's and that's what the beauty of the body. The body has such a power to compensate things if we give the specific tools and the you know the things we can do about it. Then yeah, does anybody has any other question before we Okay, then we'd like to give you a little taste of what can you do for your body. Would that be helpful? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Then go ahead when you're ready, you can close your eyes. Go ahead and put everything that's on your lap on the floor. Perfect. And then maybe this is a brand new experience for you. Then be gentle with yourself. It's like I always like to describe it to my patients. It's like if you're looking at the sky for the first time in the evening and your eyes are not used to look the stars. The stars are there, but you don't see it. And as you keep looking and looking and looking, your eyes adjust, and if suddenly you can see all the stars are there. Then be okay if you don't feel it or see it or have the perception that other people may have. But that's your experience and that's okay. But as you notice your body right now, how do you feel? Is any specific organ that's calling for more attention and they can absolutely be the gallbladder that's being removed or the uterus or any other part but if you feel some organ say please 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 help me go ahead and place your hand on the organ If you have, uh, if you don't feel any organ and you feel some sensation that's a bit different somewhere in your body, you can also place your hand on that part. You don't even need to know what it is. And if you don't feel thing, that's okay too. Then just, if you don't feel anything, place your hand on your heart and just kind of connect to your whole body. Right, that sensation of I'm listening to you, I'm here. Just like sometimes you do with kids. I'm listening to you. What do you have to tell me? And
And if you wish, you can even go a bit beyond and tell your body, I'm sorry, I have not been listening to you. And if you wish, you can even make the commitment today, right now, that moving forward, you're going to be more aware of your body. You're going to be listening to your body more. And make that commitment to your body with yourself. And as you make that commitment, you can take a couple deep breaths. And just allow that wisdom that you have, the knowing that you have, come to the surface. And you can ask your body, is there anything that I can do to help you? And you can also ask your body, what is one thing that I can do for my health to improve my health? What is one thing that I can do to start improving my health moving forward today? Forward. And if you felt the answer, you can put the hands down. And just notice how does your body feel? And if you don't feel the answer, that's okay too. You can just, what, what is one thing that you could do that feels right, that feels like you're ready to make that commitment? Maybe it's drinking more water, maybe it's having more organic food, maybe it's listen to your body more often. What is one thing that you could do? I'd like for you to start taking deeper breath. And then with each exhale, I want for you to think of what are the things that's going to pop up, that's going to stop you from reaching that goal. Maybe it's life got busy. Maybe I don't have the energy. Maybe it's the kids, the husband, the boss, whatever it is. And with each exhale, I want for you to blow that belief out of your body. There is absolutely nothing that's going to stop you from getting healthier. And starting to notice with each exhale, how is your body becoming lighter? You're starting to give permission to your digestive system to work. Your gut, your bladder, allowing your heart to relax. You need to notice the difference. How does that feel versus when you first arrived today? And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Does anybody would like to share your experience? At one time I worked in the architecture department uh -huh. and I saw all these plans, all, you know, they were all mixed up and, and the first thing for me was planning. I need to plan. I need to get rid of all this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I don't do it. So I need a plan and it's meal planning. So mm, I that was... really have to take the time to do that. And that's the answer. You know, if I know what I'm going to eat every day, it's not going to be mystery that I'm not at the last minute running out to get something that's not good for me. There we go. So, I love it. Yeah. But you just see the difference between feel the answer mm -hmm. versus force the answer on yourself. Mm -hmm. Did you guys feel that difference? versus the whole new year resolution that drives me crazy uh, <laughs> versus that's what my body is asking that's what I'm committed to do and that's what I'm ready to do it awesome good job Does anybody else want to share
you say something? Oh, I just felt calm. I felt calmer, calmer doing this, but yeah. And at first when you said it, I didn't really feel like a, a organ screaming at me or anything, but then I noticed my hand just went to my thyroid. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So we're almost done. So we passed a little bit of time because we start later as well. Um, but we're ready to get closer soon. Did anybody has any question as far as that experience topic? Uh, the, that simple thing is you guys can do at home. You can do that once a day, three times a week, before you eat, before you do grocery shopping. All right, what kind of food is my body craving today? What is the food that's really going to feed that need that you can um, always use that wisdom that you have? Then that it's designed, they have two parts. One is the academy part where you have the resource. Then the idea is creating a resource base where instead of going to Google, go search there. Then that way you know whatever answer you find is reliable. And if for some reason you don't find the answer, that send me a message in the group and I can add that content, I can answer your question, that you know that you're getting a resource that you can trust, not just, oh, someone's telling me that I should be doing that. Then I have this platform of tons of videos, tons of meditation, articles, very practical, practical. some of the previous meetings that we had, um, a lot of that um, training that you can do self-study. Then it's kind of like an easier way for people that want to, or not easier necessarily, but a cheaper way for people that want to get the work that I offer um, without necessarily having to do a private. But some people do private plus the academy, um, but some people also use the academy just for as a way to get the resource and getting all of that content um, delivered to you. Lectures kind of like what I did today, but way more content available that you can continue I was growing. And on the top of that, we also have a monthly call where we have a specific topic that we discuss it, um, do some lectures, some training that we always kind of building next level. What's the next 5%? What's the next 5%? Then the idea is kind of we always have room to grow. And because I approach that physical, emotional, spiritual, then it's always more that we can do it. Um, then during that call, we create a space to recommit and say, okay, that's what I'm doing for this month. That's what I learned. That's where I am. That's where I'm going to go. And be also able to ask me questions. And again, going back to reliable answers versus someone think they know what they're doing. Um, this is a program I have the flyer over there. If there's anybody is interested, uh, you can also ask me questions. And I have a retreat coming up on June, um, June 19. Um, that's a woman's retreat only. And we're going to be working with the solstice energy, what's the energy of the sun. That's very grounding, very kind of moving forward and action-oriented, um, balancing that with the feminine energy as well. Uh, we had that last year. We sold out. It was absolutely amazing. We're probably going to sold out again pretty soon. Then if anybody's interested to get a whole three days of like, all right, my turn. I'm ready to recharge. I highly recommend that for kind of reset program. Um, and I'm offering a discovery session for the new clients. Then if there's anybody who wants to just kind of check in with me and see what do I offer, how can you help me, you can also contact me uh, and we can schedule that 20, 30 minutes conversation that's free of charge um, and just see are you a good fit for working with me? Is there any supplements I can recommend you? Like what your organs, kind of like what I feel that's necessary with the, the so academy. It's usually right. on the phone. Yeah. The, the sessions, the private sessions can be in person or online. Um, but this discovery session is usually on the phone just because it's a bit quicker. And yeah, there's a bunch of options, a bunch of things that you can um, 
explore some free resource, some paid resource. So you can, you know, I was, um, I'm going to be probably adding everybody here on the newsletter that you guys know when's the next event. I'm always doing some free event as well. The, um, and the membership has all the recording for previous events as well. And that's always helpful. Um, Sylvia going to be talking about a little bit what she offer. Mm -hmm. And if anybody has questions, finds us the products that we, uh, we recommend and that we suggested, uh, we're going to be moving to the other room and talk about that um, after she do her part and then yeah I just you know I do offer a 30 minute discovery session as well to anybody that has more questions specific things uh, learn about how I do my coaching and the services I offer and also if any of you wants my uh, free gift it's an ebook smoothies and green juice recipes uh, you can just you know, fill this out and I will, it's a PDF version, super simple things again. Um, and of course, if any of you are interested in my five day winter reset, you're going to start on, on January 27th through 31st. I do have some people that will start sooner because, the, you know, that, because it's just doesn't work for their schedule, but it's a full, it's a program with everything included, simple recipes, my guidance. Um, there's so many extras included. It just really gives you the jump start and resetting the eating habits, you know, and kind of learn what do I do. There's a shopping list included, so you just take it to the store or your online order, and these are the ingredients I will need for those five days. Uh, and you can repeat these recipes throughout, the, you know, whenever. And I will do that every uh, quarter. I'm going to have a spring reset as well with spring recipes. It's depending on the season. So now we have more like sweet potatoes, beans, things like that. And for summer, it's going to be summer recipes. So, you know, every quarter I do recommend to people that some sort of reset, detox, cleanse, whatever you want to call it, should be done at least twice a year, honestly. Just kind of check back in, you know, with your body and really focus, you know, on, on the whole foods only. I know some of you probably do eat whole foods only, you know, depending when you are on your journey. But yeah, I think it's super important kind of just have the base done, you know, the recipes available and kind of go back to them and, you know, so... Awesome. That's pretty much that. So Whoever is you, you? This, you know, you can fill this out if you want me to send you the PDF thing. If not, um, thank you so much. Yes, thanks for that. No problem. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because I really wanted to talk to you a bunch more, but I think the discovery session will be good. Yeah. yeah. Thank just thank send you. us a message, and oh, yeah. we can schedule that. Yeah. yeah no problem. Yes, yeah, thank please. you. Yeah. Nice meeting everyone. Nice meeting. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Then, if you guys are ready, we can move this way here that we can kind of okay. explain a bit more about the supplements, why we suggested, what we suggested, and then, yeah. maybe I make the power shake just for anybody. Else yeah, if you guys want to, uh, the products are okay. here, and we can make also the powder shake for whoever yeah, want to try. Simple. Yeah, so you can taste how clean and how good it is. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Thinking about the whole power shake and trying. So if I read the ingredients, I'm sure to find broccoli and beets. Okay. Probably. I I itch when I eat this. Okay. When and you eat the food, way. when we have the shake. When I have. Well, I used to do juice plus. Okay. And perpetual, perpetual. I stopped and okay. it Then I would do. I would start with something like uh, the biomedic to kind of get the gut piece first. Do it. I'm going to wait for her to come. They can give you more okay. explanation. But there are things that don't have, probably don't have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think this one has broccoli. Oh, yeah, there's broccoli. <laughs> I've just um, this beet. Aloe jazz would be probably a really good one for you. Because that's more like a digestive calming. Which one? Aloe jazz? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Um, and, I'm, and I, I completely buy into the leaky gut, yeah. creates the sensitivity because I eat broccoli all the time. And then I, and I, stop and I stop. did one of those Elise uh, mm -hmm. tests and broccoli, beets, corn, and cranberries. I've never liked cranberries. They have. Corn um, makes me itch. And the broccoli and the beets were very surprising. But when I 
when I've taken supplements or I've taken really clean um, things, mm -hmm. I just yeah, you don't want that. Yeah. No. So, but they so have, perhaps you know. Let me see the key. power shake if they have any of that. Mm -hmm. um, and they have another one that's a kids version, but they only have a fewer ingredients. So we can look at that as well. Mm -hmm. There'll be a big. You know, I, I personally like more ingredients. Yeah. But for you, maybe be a good idea to start with less ingredients and build. Well, I, what I've kind of done is just gone with the single source protein, and I put whatever vegetables I want in there. Mm -hmm. um, because I mean, think about it: broccoli, beets, and cranberries. I mean, that's in every combination of power thing that you yeah. find. So the, the juice for shake has the the shake has those as well. Um, when I do a single protein, it doesn't. But no, the shake for for juice plus does I have the, those ingredients I don't as well? Know. I didn't try their shakes. Let me see I'm this one. Using supplements. Well, a lot of them. I said, yeah, all the. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm excited to try it. It doesn't have any Thank of my you. usual triggers. So that's oh, perfect. That's, that's a really good thing. So is there a probiotic in the shake? So no, the probiotics are not in the shake itself. You know, they are that they are. So our superfoods, you know, work on a cellular level of our body. So. They have, they will have digestive enzymes, you know. Um, but probiotics we take separately, and we have our biomedic, which is pro and prebiotic. That's the one that we most like to say, like that's something like I take every day, right? Um, yeah. So it doesn't like have added um, probiotics. I know we have a kids superfood shake, which is the Epigenius Kids, and it has digestive enzymes, probiotics. It has it all in, and about 20 fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So that's what my kids drink every morning with their breakfast because and me. <laughs> really? I, I don't have to I mean it's good it's very good it's like a chocolatey fruity flavor okay it's it's good I oh mean, it's delicious it's my favorite flavor I'm not like a chocolate person myself mm, yeah. but this is really good it's like yeah. the fruit is just a kids thing over there this one is just the kids are protein shake that's not the one you're describing no no uh, the epigenius uh, it was rolled out a few months ago so it's a new product we have a new product for kids. Um, so we are the largest online superfood store in the U.S. So we have so many products. We have. So is it a multi-level marketing company? Yes. yes. Which which company is this? The Purium. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we are well, we are affiliated marketing company. Okay. So you can have like the business side only your online store. You don't build anything else. Mm -hmm. People come to shop. Like I have my customers for years. I've been with the company for a few years. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know, like going to a Walmart or Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. That's where I used to Amazon. send my clients. Yeah. But I was like, am I? sending them to the right source. How is the food sourced, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I started coaching, I was looking for the best company out there. And there's, there's so much junk out there. Yeah, I've, been, I've done isogenics. Yes, and oh. that's so many And I've been looking at these, issues. these ingredients and I'm yes, like... Yes, exactly. It's yeah. no good. Yeah. And that's what I was trying to look for, something else. I yes. really haven't done the shakes in a while because I've, yes. I've been doing a lot of intermittent fasting anyway. Yes. So, um, But that's one of, the, one of the things that I wanted to see what you guys do because yes. you know as much as the person that gave it to, I, I don't I don't I think she feels and she does look a lot better she's doing great and but I just started looking at it and I'm like mm -hmm. there's stuff in here it's no different no, than off the shelf I can like when I looked at this I'm like oh, okay. everything I can Thank is you. familiar to me exactly it's food and the others oh. it just wasn't food but there you know oh, oh, so. big thing our, our milk protein is from the best place ever is I don't weird? know I guess so. I, can't I don't know I don't like this anybody else wants to try it yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, it, it, it doesn't get approved by my, by my standards okay and that's another thing that you gotta look at it like, yeah. like we were saying right okay. the people has I would have to add avocado <laughs> <laughs> you like it's right. I do I want it yeah that's way can too make thin it, you can make it as you know yeah, I, whatever it can really yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you could like I make it a little thicker for myself but this one has just 8 grams of protein you know if you're looking for more protein we have our meal replacement okay. which have over 20 
percent of twenty yeah. grams. Wait, wait, which one is this? This is the Appleberry Power Shake. Oh, so it's like it's five good. different products in one, and it's loaded with vitamins and minerals. You know, it's like the, that's when you drink this. Like I have my sh that's what I use mm -hmm. like for myself. It's like drinking that's a lot drink. of six large superfood salads. So and I I will, never, I will never eat that much. But yeah. I can't eat that much. Mm -hmm. You're full. Yeah. So and yeah, I, this is exactly kind of what I needed too. Because and if you're giving your kids this, then Do you know, so that's what I'm. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the isogenics going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I know. That's what I started realizing with the supplement sources. Is like. If I'm gonna buy a shake, if I'm gonna do a, what it call a supplement, it needs to be the best ingredient, otherwise what's the point? Right. Mm -hmm. Might as well go buy two dollars vitamin C on the CVS. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's kind of like one of the biggest difference that people sometimes don't realize is even the supplements when they say vitamin C or vitamin D mm -hmm. or whatever, what is the source? But what are the ingredients that's giving those? Because if there is no ingredients there, mm -hmm. it's from a lab. Mm -hmm. And it will be good for you, but how good is that versus... Thank you. Because your body knows what's orange, your body knows what's apple, your body knows what avocado. Your body doesn't necessarily know what... Somebody... Oh. Well, and then the additives to a lot of supplements like the magnesium stearate. I'm like, exactly. Oh, it's like it's in everything. Yeah, then it's kind of considering that. Okay, does your body even know what that is? And by the time the energy that it takes for your body to even identify, process, and understand. Oh, okay, that's a vitamin <laughs> A. That's what I do with that. Versus when you eat the apple and you buy. Oh yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at all the micro and micro nutrients. Then the micro would be like more vitamins and minerals, that's the one that we're more familiar with. But if you look at the apple itself, I think it's over like 40 pages of micro nutrients. So those are the essential elements? or Those the nutrients, exactly. Okay. They just give you the extra support, they give you the antioxidant, the things that people don't usually talk about it because they're so concerned about the bigger vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. But what make fruits and vegetables so different mm -hmm. than the lab it's really the micro nutrients that most people don't even know they exist mm -hmm. but it gives so much more it's the building blocks that are going to help your body to you know be healthier and, and preventing things from happen then when when we look at more like at the vitamins the way I look at it it's like okay those are the essentials like how we look at healthcare, mm -hmm. right? It's like those gonna make me leave. That's gonna make me be alive. But what's the, the one, the micro, the fruits and vegetable source? It's what's gonna make the quality of me be alive. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of how I look at it. And the more I can add, the sometimes I get. Um, the epigenius, I have a couple others that I use that I try to alternate myself as well just because mm -hmm. I like variety. Um, and then I add more spinach. Mm -hmm. I add right. more blueberry. Yes. Then it's like, you can't always add more. Mm -hmm. But if you have too much vitamin C, it's a problem. Oh, oh, is that what that <laughs> it runs you out. Know. Did not know it's that. Very okay. Clearing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the it's a cleansing. It's thing. a very it's clearing. clearing. It's so you might want to comfortable. Might want to be at home. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why you only take a lot of it when you're sick. Uh, yeah. Your body's I using see. it. Okay. If you're well, yeah. your body doesn't need all that. Yeah, but a lot of times the vitamins when you take, especially like the one that's lab made, mm -hmm. what happens is that they either run through your body, right? You're not absorbing because mm -hmm. that's enough. Uh, or sometimes can cause side effects, like mm -hmm. you're describing. The beauty about the whole food supplement is if your body doesn't need it, it eliminates. Mm -hmm. The one of the products that I absolutely love about this company is the apple the cherry that mm -hmm. Sylvia was talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, now this have this epidemic of everybody taking melatonin. Mm -hmm. People don't recognize that melatonin is a hormone. It can go up or down. 
It's just like thyroid. You don't take thyroid hormones too much. You don't take too little. But for some reason, they think that's okay to take melatonin whenever you know, they want. And what that happens is deregulate your hormone. And now you're introducing an external source. Your body is like, okay, I guess I don't need to do the work anymore. And you start getting dependent mm-hmm. on the medication, on the supplement, whatever it is. The company created something using cherry. They put, they put the cherry product, that's dark cherry, dark cherry. Um, and the, in the way that the cherry work, it's help your body to regulate. If you drink the cherry during the day, your body knows it doesn't need melatonin. It just helps you decrease inflammation. Yep. If you drink before you go to sleep, your body knows that's nighttime, it's time to go to sleep. It jump up your melatonin and decreases the you know it kind of relaxes your body to go to sleep. Totally different than you're taking melatonin through the you don't take that during the day because it's gonna throw you off. Mm-hmm. Then starting to identify products that give you the same benefits without deregulating our system for me personally is extremely important. Mm-hmm. I much rather have the cherry juice and I can't totally feel the difference. Friends, you yeah. just oh, a yeah. lot of the gym. exactly, you know, keep going through bottle after bottle. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 very, it's one of my favorite products. Sorry, yeah. okay. Then it's kind of going back to... Thanks. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice you and you. just for you to know, um, whoever invites you today, yeah. uh, you can contact back because we are part of the company, we can give you a $50 gift card oh. for you guys to try yeah. any of the products. Yeah. What's yeah. super helpful. Then just contact whoever you saw the post about it. Um, and then we get you the card for you the discount yeah thanks yeah you're welcome appreciate it Bye. yeah they, it's, there are so many products and they're they are uh, they you want to go to the table yeah, yeah yeah let's go over there that we can kind of show you guys and you know I've, I've noticed like in Target they have like I don't know how many rows of all these vitamins mm-hmm. now they're selling melatonin for kids oh yeah I mean it's like it's horrible it is what's going to happen when bye. Bye. Thank, thank you thank you, thank you for coming me. Yeah. yeah, so not every cherry juice though works the same. Yes. And many people that come, well, I tried it, it doesn't work for me, you know. And this is a specific kind of cherry, not every tart cherry has the benefits. So when our founders were looking, they looked through like 100 different varieties, you know. And that's one of the things I really like about the owner. Like he's actually from Hawaii and he is totally about earth. Oh, yeah. Like he is in the farm. He is doing the research with the farms and looking for the best ingredients. He's totally environmental conscious. He's actually changing all the products and removing plastic. Yeah, um, that part is, is it moves, you know. But I love his concept of um, the quality of the ingredients, the, the environmental protected he wanted to make sure that we remove like i think for 2021 he's going to yeah end of 21 or 22 he want to be no plastic in his wow. everything is going to be uh he developed a special paper that's actually compost so you yes. can put in your garden and and compost what's like so all these plastic containers will be gone. all going to be gone by They're next year slowly already yes and so so that Okay, you keep talking because mine is not a question that matters. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I just, I mean, does that create all kinds of shipping problems? Because, I mean, the reason that we love plastic is because it's so hardy. You can drop a box and, you know, have broken containers. So, has he... Oh Solve yeah, yes. He not just solved that. Mm-hmm. The the product that he created because it's like a little pack. He has some packages already. That yeah, he's got like pouches, but, like a yeah. Comes in pouches but now. because of yeah. that, you actually can compress mm-hmm. so many more products in yeah. one truck. Huh. They use saving gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how he thinks. Okay. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm not just like helping the environment with decreasing plastic, but I'm also saving with gas. And he was like, I'm able to ship so much more mm-hmm. the products now because it requires way less space. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's like, it's, it's lighter. It's, it's lighter. 
pouches and it's so you, you've got the pouches already yeah. right yeah. So yeah yeah it's so much easier to storage and mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty incredible I was telling um, her that I, I keep using the same bottle I just keep pouring mm -hmm. and just use it for you. yeah so. yes I like sometimes to have the bottle because it's sometimes it's easier to carry when I'm um, mm -hmm. like traveling they like sometimes to keep as a storage option option but I love the idea he's changing to but this little ziplock like she yeah <laughs> then yeah then there are um, many different options that you want to talk about allergies because I think that's yeah. a great one for is he getting rid of the plastics so that the chemicals don't go into the product or is he getting rid of the plastics for the plant what's his environmental environmental so not, none of our no, there's like no plastic like it's you know I mean it's totally toxic free of course you know whatever mm -hmm. containers yeah. we have but I've been to our um, actually in June I went to our California facility so I've seen it all you know the factory yes you know how it's made how much love is put into everything how we mix the different ingredients you know and um, yes he was showing like these big you know our shelves filled with those containers and then we can replace it with pouches I mean just the transportation saving on gas all those people those I mean this is crazy like this is big yeah. so every company should think yes. like that you know yeah. well and I, you know I, I go as far as like a lot of times certain products like for instance vegetables you know there are certain things like artichokes or something why well, I, I will not buy it in a can or something if it's in a can or something like that it's like why do you take a good product and put it in plastic you know mm -hmm. it's like I, I only buy some jars I don't really even do mm -hmm. cans yeah thing. but that's the standard right now that goes yeah. back to what society is used to it yeah that he is going outside of the box and I don't know any other company that's doing that that's well, I mean, but, but uh, not for say this but yeah. just products in general when I see exactly you have a glass one and you have one in plastic I know everybody likes plastic because it's convenient get the glass. And lightweight but I, I will buy the, the one in glass yeah. yeah so this has to be stored once you open it in the fridge yeah uh, and if you travel we have a, we have a, the same kind of formula uh, for like to help you sleep and relax at night it's in capsule uh, so some people do don't know about it but actually the cherry juice is in that capsule mm. so it makes it very super easy for travel you know instead of taking the bottle you know yes. kind of, kind of. I actually didn't know that I only take <laughs> my bottle with me <laughs> buy your relax that's what buy your relax oh that's the buy yes. relax yes. I, I travel for that guy I went to Los Angeles I get that with me <laughs> that's how much I like it I was like I'm not going anywhere exactly kids can drink it like yeah. when they are you know yes definitely anybody it's just food anything we so it's just food so there's nothing in that that like if my son is taking a bunch of other supplements or anything I need to because that was my hesitation in giving because you've you mentioned it yep. and I was like well maybe I need to talk to this neurologist or his you know his legally yes yeah. you need to tell me that I should go you can sure. always go back to okay. the doctor and yeah. clarify they okay. are especially if he's under medication they are some ingredients that's super healthy that's mm -hmm. that sometimes can be creating side effects when with some ingredients for the medication like yeah, yeah. he doesn't really take he doesn't take it really or take really any prescriptions it's yeah mostly, it's all supplemental okay yeah like but people on blood thinners can have a lot of vitamin k yeah, no, you know that would be my question get going. okay love it's nice meeting yes, you please let me know if your daughter had wants to talk okay. you have my information no, um, yes yeah, so or i can give you my where's my yeah, then the idea would be like this is actually the one that I was referring to. Oh, okay. That this is made of chamomile. Lemma. This is called the In Focus. Uh -huh. This is kind of like a calming. Okay. Okay. Calming. Then uh -huh. this is a great one for well, our adults. Uh -huh. I do sometimes. My husband gets sometimes. Uh, no, no, like those days that you like you can't focus or you like overwhelm or something happened. A sympathetic system is going bananas it's a great way to just we all need that 
And you said it's basically camo? It's chamomile and passion fruit. Oh, because I take passiflora and, and valerian. Mm -hmm. I yeah. <laughs> but okay. it's uh, in a letter root. Um, one thing I really like about his company is that I never heard that with other companies is he actually tests for bioavailability mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes when you have too many products or you're taking too many supplements mm -hmm. things don't go well together right. and he's actually measure how much of each ingredient he's putting in each supplement okay. it's not just a bunch of things patched together yeah. he actually that concerned about the quality where he's kind of like okay this is too much passion fruit this is that I want to just the right dose to be what your body takes as much as it can take and absorb it and receive it the products instead of just being mega doses exactly just being cool it's like the it, nose different as to what they can like yes I mean, the individuality I mean you have to take the of course okay. yeah and, then, and you and have to start somewhere but exactly looking more like the average based on his experience that he has expert he has study Ayurveda Chinese medicine homeopathy that he had done yeah this has a very homeopathic feel yes it. it's very homeopathic with food yes with your um, big peel day yeah and so it's, it's, it's and, yeah he had what um, you guys are and that's what I love about his work I actually went to Los Angeles to see his speaking in one of the conference mm -hmm. um, is because he has all this background mm -hmm. that he blended he get a bunch of Ayurveda mm -hmm. herbs mm -hmm. Chinese herbs yes with a modern yeah then he gets the best of all the medicine that he studied mm -hmm. and he blended together then this one here he used to give this formula to people with diabetes then he's like okay go in the grocery store buy x percentage of this three of that four of that and bye sweetie thank you talk to you later. quick question how many seats are left in your class in June? I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'll, will it tell me online if I can sign up? You can sign up. Oh. Yeah, just let me know and I can. The, you just need to pay the deposit. The deposit is $200 to save your seat. Okay. Uh, and you need to pay the full amount until I think it's March something. Okay. To, to confirm that you can get the early bird discount. Okay. Then just send me a message, tell me which room, if you want to share a room or private okay. room, and get the payment. And then, for me. Yeah! Yes, good for you. <laughs> Bye, Myra. Um, then that's kind of how he used to do before. It's like go in the grocery store, buy this, this, and this with that percentage. And then from that experience that he had the work, now he developed this. Then it's kind of like based on his mm -hmm. his experience it's not just oh I think that's what it is yeah, then, no, 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 um, I really like that he has all that scientific mm -hmm. background and, and mm -hmm. done so much very, very sure. and when he's speaking oh my gosh the guy energy mm -hmm. it's out of the world it, it really shows yeah and it's like people say you were always happy and I'm like because I am you yeah. know you mm -hmm. just the body the energy it feels different yeah. it does so do you want to mention about sure. the allergy yeah like that's so, such a good one. Since this is a gun health dog, right? Yeah. Aloe is very healing, as we know. So this is one of my favorite drinks. I mix it sometimes with different things, or okay. drinking on my own, on its on its own, mm -hmm. you know, just with water and ice. So it's very healing. Just again, superfoods. Aloe is the main ingredient in it. Um, I find it refreshing in the summer when I feel thirsty. Mm -hmm. You know, that's or when I feel like my stomach is, you know, heavier after whatever I ate, or just, you know, I mean, it does smell good. We have a... It does, it's very tasty. We have another one that has aloe and something else. I forget what it is. It sounds like Zurich and that. How is it just mixed in water? Yeah, shake it up. Shake it up, yeah. It's awesome. I mean, it's just sweet, lemony. Is it something you do on a daily basis, or is it... Yeah, pretty much. I mean, not every single day. Okay. The main things I use is the power shake for morning, my super aminos, which is 
pre-digested protein that's like a gut thing that would be really good for your son as well because you know if he doesn't eat well he might not be absorbing protein very well so these the same these are these are pills actually but you can crush it you can crush it you can crush it you crush it put it in applesauce for okay. kids or whatever well yeah. yeah actually my son can take massive pills he takes the stuff I can't swallow them yeah. so I'd probably be crushing it up for me yeah so, I had a really good story actually with person okay. with depression I mean she's doing amazing really yes those amino acids I mean it's crazy these were developed for people with kidney disease like 20 plus years ago because they cannot have protein right because mm -hmm. all the meats go through your kidneys mm -hmm. so these have been pre-digested so they hit your muscles and your body within 25 minutes mm -hmm. so that's the first thing I do in the morning because we need protein to wake up or for our brain to start working for our body right so that's what I do. I do the power shake. I mix it with sometimes I mix it with our that's the super meal. That's the meal replacement because it has way more protein. So I do one and you know, one scoop of this, one scoop of that. Uh, I love this. Can we did you talk about it yet? Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite yes, products. Like then this is a great one for the afternoon when you're kind of like sleepy and you're kind of like, can I have a nap and I can't? Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of caffeine, but if you are into caffeine and you need that, this is way better mm -hmm. option. Uh, and it's beat based and they have a couple other things. You cannot have that. Um, couple other things here uh, that's all superfood based, but it's it tastes so good. And it's just kind of just give that it boost of energy. Taste like beets. Some no, it does not. Like beets. I like beets. Yeah, oh, like beets. <laughs> I drink it. <laughs> and again, this just in water again? Yes, just in water. water. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is actually well, specifically made as a pre war. Because yeah. beats oxygen in your blood, yes. So you have way more energy. You know, your muscles have need more blood when you're working out. So you take it, or I take it, whatever. You know, when you're working out, you feel the difference, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's like oh my god, the whole body is like really. Yes, I do not take before bed. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't sound like it. Works. But it gives you a boost of energy that you can do pre-workout, yes. post-workout, yeah. or just kind of throughout those really busy day that you want a little bit of extra wake up boost you can yeah. use for that uh, and just it's just a good way to add fruits and vegetables anyways like for people that have a challenge to introduce more fruits and vegetables on your diet yeah. those are always you know extra resource as well that you can you can add it you know, CBD is awesome for if you have not used CBD yet or no, you know, it's, yeah. it's good um, I had many other people telling me, oh, CBD didn't work for me. So I'm like, okay, look at the label. Yeah. How is it made? What's in the, the bottle? Again, and that's back. usually what? Primary for like um, immune system type thing. So CBD, from what my people mainly use it, is for anxiety and stress. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I knew I'd be publicly speaking today. That's what I use today. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you want knowing you're going to have stressful life, day, work, busy, quit screaming, just the way you react to stress it just takes it kind of down you don't care about the stupid drivers around you you know some people are like, ah! I'm like do you have to take that on a regular basis or you can take it so it depends so for people that do suffer from anxiety like they were you know they really suffer they they will take it daily for people as needed like I take it as needed some people use it it does increase decrease inflammation so for pain like Mm -hmm. back pain mm -hmm. muscle pain so my husband was taking it's not this when we do uh, Charlotte's web mm -hmm. and he, st he had plantar fasciitis mm -hmm. so we have it because we use it for my son too mm -hmm. and he's like let me start mm -hmm. try it out and it took I mean not all the pain was gone but it took the edge yes. of the pain yes. he's someone who has to stand a lot in his job yeah. Yeah. so that's I'm sure it's the inflammation yes. that it was yes exactly yeah. 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 So. And, it, and it's interesting when you say that because as a physical therapist right it's kind of like always interesting to see how much is physical and how much is inflammation mm -hmm. right and yeah. they, he had the inflammation in amplifying increasing the pain mm -hmm. and now the inflammation is turned down the pain is still there 
because there is something mechanical. Right. Mm. Then physical therapy, you know, yeah. figuring out why is happening because it gets worse and even the body starts compensating up yeah, the I channel. Him to go somewhere. That was <laughs> another conversation. Yeah, that's another <laughs> <laughs> Guys are different stories. Oh just gosh. put it that way. I know. But at least some of his pain is gone. He's going to stay. That's good. Gone, that's, yeah. Yeah. You got to hurt enough and she'll be like, okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I know. I should have listened two months ago. Yeah. yeah. So do you have, is there, do you have, yeah, like they have the, yeah, you can get you the code. Yeah, I can get you the code and yeah. the okay. gift card. Yeah, that's what um, I, I definitely want to switch because I, you know, I, I did isogenics for probably like every month for like a year and then I was like, I mean, it's not that I was feeling bad, but I'm starting to look and I'm going, you know, these ingredients just don't, mm -hmm. I don't think they're good. The best. And I wanted to find, and I didn't want to just, like, I trust you guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just go to Take something some else that are, oh yeah, I this one's great. And, yeah. and, and, well, it's the same thing, like you go to Whole food, right? And it's true. like, people have this concept, everything is Whole food is uh, good yeah. for you. Oh, it is not. God. Look at the ingredients. Canola oil and everything. Yes. Everything yes. they cook yes. is canola oil. It's like, it is not. Because these people don't know. It's like you ask. You have this long shelf on stuff. They don't know. Yeah. Like you can ask for advice, you know. Yeah. Actually, our nutrition was in a hot food stores as well in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't well, they do have some good things. You've got to look, though. But yes. Yes. I think people have a misconception. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, yeah. The, it's being able to there. have the reliable source. And that's why, like, the academy for me was such a that's kind of my legacy for my patients and whoever comes next because I wanted to be able to share all this information it's no way I can share all this information in a private session mm -hmm. then it's like giving everything that you need to know it's available in the academy that you can just research and kind of mm -hmm. or ask me and I can you know, point, in that direction. point in that direction as well then and everybody else in the group learn because those are the, thing, the questions that's so good when people ask because most of people are so conditioned they don't even ask anymore and that's why I love that part of the body awareness because now you get to the point where you start asking questions where before it would be like oh yeah that's true someone say I'm just gonna follow mm -hmm. and I would be like hold on a second is that my true versus just true because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. even the things that I teach and I always tell people that's my experience as my research doesn't mean that's going to apply to everybody but I'm going to teach you how to know that instead of it just stick and believe that that's mm -hmm. it's, it's a curiosity you got to keep that sharp yeah Awesome. And this is the biomedic that we were talking about. Um, and that's for? That's for the glyphosate. The, oh, oh, to get detox yeah, de yeah. from the glyphosate. Yes. Glyphosate, prebiotic, probiotic. And he actually did a research, what was kind of cool. It was 74% 74 mm -hmm. of glyphosate yep. uh, on the like yep. private lab that he actually changes. So it's a prebiotic and probiotic yes. at the same time. And there's so a, then it's kind of like you get all three in one and it's a no brainer thing. <laughs> okay. like it has the ability to attach to the toxin and pull it out there's no any other product so it's almost like a chelation yeah yes which is very beneficial with kids with autism now I know because we do so we've done he does some supplements to get to do he that. Have parasites we I have the for parasites that. yeah the for parasites is actually a different product I don't know if it's okay for kids or not so how old is he he's nine. Oh yeah that's fine it's okay it just be lower the dose I would just have to talk to his Oh, yes. She, yeah, yeah. She has them on stuff, yeah. too. Sure. And then you can bring, you know, you can take a picture of the label yeah. and bring it's to the label. Website. Every label they, is You know what? I'll do that. Because actually, so we've worked with an integrative pediatrician. We're now on to a neurologist that is more integrative. So we're doing some additional testing with him. So yeah. I can always. Which pediatrician you get? Super cleanse. Super cleanse. This is, this is specific for um, parasites. So, uh, yeah. And then this one you do kind of like she was saying you're doing two doses you do it you stop it uh, and then you do it again yes. they, they have a whole protocol how to do it yeah we have a the, the protocol heat, in here yeah then we just kind of follow what he yeah you know because right. it's right. kind of out of a scope yeah but I I did that yeah, and it was I felt a big difference really. and yeah then yeah parasites are big I don't, I, it's so funny because I never heard my daughter's like ew he has parasites I'm like oh I bet you if we got you tested you would test it 
I said, I'm not really having yes. two. I said, you know what? Do you have a dog or cat? I have three cats. Then there you go. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so if you eat meat, you eat yeah, yeah, yes. If you have anything that's kind of same raw, will roll. And they're okay to certain. Right. Like, yeah. Like you, you're right. like, you eat a certain yeah. 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 Right. And and once a year, right. honestly, right. everybody needs yeah. to be parasite. And it's funny because no it is. Exactly. It is. You know, warm them every year whether they need it or not. Yeah. Like, and it's it's funny because it's also a cultural thing because in Brazil we take parasite detox at least once or twice a year it's kind of like okay it's that time of the year bring bring it in and here in America I never even heard about it no I never heard about it until I started taking my son to an, you know <laughs> until there was a regular pediatrician that stays you for five minutes yeah yes. and, and the Less whole than, idea yeah. as far as of like a lot of times they give you something that's just two three days and it's like it doesn't take <laughs> that's not enough yeah, yeah. And yeah that's life cycle hangs yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting how he really brings uh, all of and all the supplements that will be supporting this instead of just you know because your body got to mm-hmm. build up to be able to kill all of that and, right. and get the biomedic where it's repair not just eliminate things and I like the idea of okay let's kill let's solve that problem but let's also support with the things that's needed um, but yeah they have so many options it's like 